everyone, welcome. I'm Nancy. Thank you so much for visiting me today. I am so excited to be sharing a few new items from my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski Jewelry. Um, I'm sure you can hear Mr. Griffin outside barking. It's a beautiful day and he is out enjoying the sunshine. So he actually came over to visit a few times today. He came to my door to get some treats, came in, got his treats and left. Uh, so I think he's using me. But anyway, um, got some ideas on the Touchstone Crystal Jewelry. As you know, I mentioned in uh, one of my last videos, my daughter Raina was having a party and I was hoping my uh, subscribers could pick out my next purchase. Uh, maybe picking out something that you know that I'm lacking in my jewelry, whether I need a big statement piece or longer pendants. So to make it easier, um, the last uh, video, some people did put some suggestions for me, so I took some pictures of those. I'll have those at the end of this video, so I hope that you uh, have time to go check out those pictures and then let me know in the comments below what you would take. So anyway, I do have some new crystal to show you that I bought this month. And I wanted to share a uh, find that I've been uh, using since uh, Christmas time, these color color street nails so i've got some information on that and the most weirdest thing of all is you know how for since i've been getting these subscription boxes i've been saying i don't like crop pants nancy doesn't wear crop pants please don't send me crop pants and then do you know what i went out and bought last week yeah you guessed it i bought crop pants on my own I knew that they were crop pants, but I just fell in love with them. They were on Liverpool's website, and um, it might have been a week or two weeks ago or something, I got an email. They had an 8% uh, ebate uh, on them, and there were some items that were on sale. These ones were not on sale, but I fell in love with them, and I just had to get them. Uh, they got like a tulip hemline at the bottom. It's a, They're not distressed, but it's got like that frayed hemline. And I just, I just love them because I don't know what to wear with them. So I still have these uh, tags on, as you can see. So um, if you think they do look ridiculous on me, then please let me know and I will return them. And if not, some, some maybe some suggestions on what kind of shoes I'm supposed to wear with it. I did get back this um, blazer uh, that I sent back to Stitch Fix. I got this uh, Friday when I came home from work. So it's a smaller size. I think it's a good fit. Um, you know, it's uh, just kind of a wrap thing, but I think if you wanted to, you could easily put a snap here and then a really blingy button on the outside, or, you know, if you're creative, you can put a real button hole in there. But I think the fit is a lot better on me. It looks a little bit more tailored. It's perfect length for wearing pants and jeans. They fit nice. They're Liverpool. They're a nice, soft quality, but let's show you the hemline and see if you can see what I fell in love with. So again, I'm going to, it goes up like a tulip here, like a little wrap in a tulip with a frayed hem. Wasn't sure what to wear it with. So I've got these white sandals to kind of look summery, but then it just kind of looked too stark down there. So then I put these gray sandals on. These are both Vince Camuto that I got from QVC. These gray ones were actually uh, one of the today's special values, so I think when I got them they might have been $69 or maybe even less than that. Plus they were on the evil pay. These ones were not on sale, but I did get them they were when they went down to six evil pay, so love those. As you can see, I've got my stack of uh, boxes over here. And uh, I'm just waiting for the next time the DAV comes through the neighborhood so I can put them out there. Like I said, every time I get a box in, I put some items of clothing in there. I'm going to be getting rid of some dishes. I've got five sets of dishes, and I don't use them. So I know um, when, a few weeks ago I went to uh, like a charity event with my bosses, and uh, they do take donations of dishes too, which they don't charge people for. So if they've got... Um, say an abused wife or something that's uh, trying to that left her husband with her kids and she's trying to start over they actually donate um, things to help her get set up in a house again whether it's furniture uh, sheets towels um, dishes just anything like that so some of those items i'm going to try donating to them as well um, you know going through the dav i know they're going to go in thrift stores and people are going to buy them and supposedly 
you hope that supposedly the money goes to help the disabled veterans, which I know is a really worthy cause. Um, my husband was a disabled vet and, you know, could not get a wheelchair from them. Um, we ended, it took almost eight years to get one with social security disability. And, you know, so I ended up buying things on my own. So I'm, I'm hoping that some of the other disabled vets don't have as much trouble as we did getting equipment. And of course I wanted to donate um, one of my chairs to them, the electric wheelchairs. And they don't take donations for that. So it's like, they don't supply them. You can't donate them. So. It's just uh, really a shame. But anyway, on to happier things. It's uh, Easter weekend. I have uh, got some exciting things to, so I hope you stay tuned. And at the very end, please, uh, if you have some time, please let me know what your favorites are. Let me know about those crop jeans. If I was right, Nancy really shouldn't wear crop jeans or if they are okay. So I hope that everyone goes out, has a fantastic day, and stay tuned. There's more to come. So, what do you think about that? I have been saying all these months that Nancy doesn't wear crop pants, and then I go out on my my own and purposely buy them. But I think I just love that hem detail. So let me know uh, what you think. If they are uh, they are crazy weird on me, should I return them? I still have the tags on them, or if you think it's okay, and maybe occasionally, not every time, not the rule, but maybe occasionally. Nancy does wear crop pants. So anyway, I just thought this would be a little bit easier. Um, and again, it's for my daughter's uh, Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski Party that she is having having this month. And I'm just looking for some uh, help and some suggestions on how I can maybe buy my next purchase, maybe go outside my comfort zone, maybe get something that uh, you, my viewers, can see that I am seriously lacking in my collection. So instead of browsing through the catalog, which of course you can still do, I'll leave that link. But at the end of this video, I'm going to have uh, the items that everybody mentioned in my last video. So I'll just have a snapshot of that picture with some numbers on it. And then you can just uh, say in the comments below, which do you think I should get for my next purchase? So anyway, to get into it, I just want to go over the things that I bought this month. And earlier this month, uh, Belinda uh, ran another little uh, raffle type thing where if you bought an ice bracelet, you would be in the raffle to get two and two. I did not win that one, but I did buy three more things. And I like to buy in quantities of three when I can, uh, because when you spend $100, you get uh, yeah, the next item is 30% off. So I usually try to get two things that equal the $100 or just over the 100, and then that next ballot purchase is the one that is 30% um, off. So it's a good way to build up your collection and save a little bit of money at the same time. So again, they come in these beautiful presentation boxes. This one is uh, the ice bracelet that I bought this month. And this one is called a shimmery ice bracelet. They're all going to come with a little care card that's going to say Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. And then just some basic care instructions on the back. And my camera, or a webcam, or a monitor, or whatever, the ring light, just really does not do justice to these. I find that my phone actually takes some better pictures, so I'll insert like a little video at the end of these so that you can actually see the, the sparkle. And this one, it's just beautiful. It's got shades of, every time it, you turn it, you can just see how the light changes it. So there's purple in here, there's pinks, there's blues. Like gold tone, topaz tone. So it's like every time the light changes, you get a different color. So this will just be a really another versatile piece. Um, when I do get some more bracelets, I could match it with a purple. I can put it with my black ones. I've got some lavender wraps here. And it's just going to pick up whatever color that you've got with it because there's just so many beautiful colors in it. So that was the first one that I got. And I really like these wrap, wrap, wrap bracelets, the star wrap bracelets. And I've got uh, this one in the Aurora Borealis. I've got this one in the black. So this one I got with navy because I thought it would go beautiful with uh, just jeans, just or a nice casual outfit, but you can still dress it up a bit. So this blue, it's a nice navy blue suede band. And then it's got blue crystals on it. 
And I'm going to put a little video from my phone at the end too, showing the, the new items together and a little bit of bling. And then for the third bracelet that I bought this month, it was another birth, birthstone bracelet, and these ones are only $30. To me, I, I like them. They're re really versatile. They add a little pop of color. And again, this one I got in the March, so it's a nice aquamarine. So I think it's going to... Oh, these ones that I got are all going to go together when I wear them. Because they'll all be my shades of blue. So those are the ones that I bought this month, and I'm really happy with every one that I get. Um, sometimes I'm not sure about the colors of it, and, you know, the rep that I work with, the consultant, Belinda Conti, she is, is really helpful if she's got a picture of an actual one or some clothes that she's worn it with to just kind of tell you what the colors look like, and that's kind of a really big help. But then, to until you see them in person, you just can't tell the beauty of these. I just have loved every single purchase that I get. So um, you may have noticed my nails in my, my last few videos. And for a while I was doing, I, I hate going to have strangers touch me, so I, I can't do, do manicures. I went um, and I had some fresh, um, the acrylic ones put on uh, for a wedding maybe, oh my gosh, maybe 10 years ago. And it was a really traumatic experience for me. I just I was like in a panic the whole time. I went and had them filled a couple of weeks later and it was like, that's it, I, I just can't do it. So for years I went without anything and then I got the press on nails um, that I was doing that you put on with the, uh, uh, the glue and they looked really nice and for a while my nails were growing underneath them. They were getting healthy, they weren't splitting and then all of a sudden the glue just started eating away at the enamels on my nails and I am still trying to, uh, to fight that. And uh, so then I stopped wearing those. But then I got, my daughter's been getting Color Street nails. And I don't know if you're familiar with these, but again, I go a little overboard. So these are actually nail polish on some strips. And they just come in so many different colors. I like to get the sparkle ones. And for me, the sparkle ones, because if I do make a mistake or when they do start to wear off, I think the sparkle ones just kind of camouflage um, it a little bit more. I've worn this one before. This one is actually discontinued, so I bought it back up. And in here, there's going to be two strips of these nails. And if you have long nails, you're going to use this entire strip. Well, you know, the ones that fit. You just match up your nail size to these. And you would probably just be able to get you know, one one use out of them. Because my nails are so short, I can get three uses out of these. They cost $12 for the sparkly ones. And when you buy two, you know, when you buy three, you get the fourth one free. So these are really nice. Uh, they just came out with some new packaging. So this one's a corally one, and I did get some coral sweaters this year. So I think I am going to um, wear this, uh, put these ones on the week that I know that I'm gonna wear those again some colors and I am really excited about these leopard print ones so I think maybe the week that I change and use these ones I'm going to try to do a whole week of leopard looks to go with this and I go through two different consultants on these uh, they're both friends of my daughter Raina that she's met and I like both girls so I kind of alternate I buy some from one then some from another and depending on what I've done whether it's um a lot of housework or a lot of dishes or a lot of cleaning they do kind of wear off you know look at the tips and as your nail grows out but the shortest time uh, these have lasted for me is a week and the longest they've lasted is two weeks so I'm really loving these color street nails and if you need any information on those I can get that to you so again and this is the book uh, the catalog for the touchstone crystal by Swarovski and I'm gonna have the pictures at the end so I hope that you uh, have some time and maybe look at those pictures at the end and then just let me know the number that you like whether it's one two three and I think I've got nine pictures that, that I'll post at the end and of course if you wanted to go through the catalog and see something else that you want you, you were thinking I should get you can certainly add that to the mix and then uh, before my daughter's party closes I'm going to just kind of tally up and uh, get the 
the one that had the most votes. So I appreciate your time. I hope everyone is out enjoying the day. Um, it's supposed to be a rainy day today. I think we're in the 70s again. It's like a beautiful, going to be beautiful Easter um, day. Today was in the 70s again, and um, I actually went out and attempted the lawnmower. Now, if you've uh, watched some of my videos from, from last year, I had the most awful time on this lawnmower. I fall off it. Uh, the battery died. I thought the battery died, so I struggled to replace the battery, and they're not easy. And then it still didn't start. And then when I was trying to jiggle around the battery, there was a fuse in there. Didn't know it had a fuse. So then I had to take that fuse out and go to the store and buy, buy one that matched it. But then it worked, and I was like, whoa, I did this. So the last few times that I mowed the lawn, last fall had no trouble. The very last time when it was basically just mulching the leaves, I got the front done, went in the back, and it started squealing and smoking. So I, I just jumped off it in the middle of the yard. I just let, let it run till it, till it died. So it's been in the middle of my yard all winter, buried under like 10 feet of snow. So I went out and it actually started. No smoke, no screaming noises. And I uh, got the rest of the leaves mulched in the backyard. So I'm excited. I actually put it, up, put it back up next to the house. My husband used to always put it in the shed in the backyard. But I don't think I can go straight enough to fit it in there. So it's staying out right by the deck, the lower deck downstairs. So anyway, I hope that uh, when you go out, you have a lot more fun than I did. And tomorrow for Easter, I hope that everyone has a great Easter. Your kids get beautiful baskets from the easter bunny whether you give them candy or fruits or you get them toys or clothes um just everyone i hope you have an exciting day an exciting weekend and thanks again for watching and uh we will chat again soon thanks everyone Bye bye